So the beautiful thing about purpose is it's the only identity that is yours. It's the only one that no one gives you and no one can take away. There is a nugget from every single speaker. If you can just say, I just want to get one thing, only one thing from each speaker that I can take back with me and help be a transformative piece in my life, what would that be? Well, they're still with me every day, still having a profound impact on the man I am and hope to become. We're it's driven by our greater purpose. I think we need to have something bigger than ourselves. Use every failure that you've gone through, every adversity, every hardship that we will inevitably go through in our lives as lessons to grow thicker skin and ultimately to help others. Others Over Self is this leadership mindset that the ancient wisdom that needs of others are more important than our own. I've never met a humble person who is in pursuit of their own humility. The humble people I know are humble because their purpose is greater than themselves. Everything begins with attention. Attention is not a swear word. That's the power of mattering. One moment of mattering can completely alter the trajectories of someone's life, their self-beliefs, and can create the conditions for someone to believe that they have purpose. You are someone else's who as well. You have products and services and opportunities to offer to people who are in desperate need of those. What our purpose is together, the gathering is the same thing that John Naismith said way back in 1982 in his famous book, Megatrends. He said that the most exciting breakthroughs that are going to occur in this century are not going to occur because of technology, but because of a greater understanding of what it means to be human. Purpose is based on continuous growth in us. Because as we grow, if we don't take time to reflect and grow on what we've been through, what we've done, we will never meet our actual purpose. We're happy when other people are happy and when we can make a difference in other people's lives. It's important to hang on to your purpose when it gets hard because you'll never see the fullness of your potential and your purpose if you let go too soon. But your job is simply to shine. Keep shining that light of leadership and a violent positivity and you're going to make a difference in an organization. Many of us spend our lives fulfilling an identity for ourselves that other people have wished for us or asked for. We're at a place in our world where we have choices to make. And if we do not want evil to triumph, if we want good to win, it takes men and women committed to be good and to do good so that that can start to change our world. Because more than anything, our world needs bridge builders, we need light bearers, and we need hope builders. It takes courage to step into purpose and help other people step into purpose. And we're here on this planet to love one another. And we have too many things that are getting in our way. We, we constantly draw these lines. Oh, this person can't work with us because they're, they're a Republican or a Democrat. Oh, this person can't work with us because they're pro-life or they're pro-choice. Or this person's a Muslim. This person is Jewish. This person is an atheist. What, what does that matter? How do we prevent cultures from clashing with each other? How do we prevent this from building up again? We can get people to connect across cultures. We can get people from different countries to connect through service, through purpose. What do we need to wake up and pay attention to? Joy invites what needs to be celebrated or appreciated, and creativity invites what needs to be birthed. The two most important days of your life are the day you're born and the day you find out why. I know for a fact that there was at least one person here that has come here for an answer. And, and here's the thing, the enemy is distraction. And, and so to know what we have to know what we're fighting if we're gonna fight well. And, and quite frankly, everything in life is the, the enemy is not the other team, it's not the weather, it's not your competition. The enemy is distraction. And so we need to identify what are the distractions out there and then fight the right fight. This purpose has gone from a nice idea to a movement. 
And you know, we all want to be a part of something when it gets birthed. How I do that depends on my gifts and abilities. The actions that I use to accomplish that purpose depends on my gifts and abilities. But it takes an action. Love is the answer. What is the question? I'd say that's the biggest advice I'd give you both individually and organization is to make sure you understand who you are, what your purpose is, where you're headed, what your picture of the future is, your, and what are your values, what's going to guide your journey, both personally and organizationally. You don't do anything with it, then none of this matters. So leave here today and go and fulfill the purpose that you were individually created for, that your organization was created for, and go make a difference in the lives of others every day in every moment that you possibly can. Thank you. See you next year.